हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड सो गाइस एज आई सेड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू द प्रोसेस टू अप्लाई फॉर आईडी कार्ड इन दिस वीडियो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल एंड हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल येट देन डू सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन वेन एवर आई अपलोड ए न्यू वीडियो so coming back to our topic as we know that the id card is mandatory to carry while going to office so tcs is started sending mails to their employees to initiate the id card request and also that mail contains all the instructions to follow to do the same process so now i will tell you the process to apply and get the id card for that first we need to upload a photo and that photo should be approved by your supervisor then you can initiate the request to send the id card in mmt so first to upload the photo you need to follow a particular path in ultimatix that is first go to ultimatix and then global ess in that my profile in that under about section click on my photo after you click on my photo you will be into this page there are two options here uh, you can see uh, profile photo and upload photo under profile photo by default it will take your photo which you have uploaded while uh, you are applying for tcs exam in your next step portal it means it will take the photograph from your application uh, form uh, if you are okay with that photo you can directly initiate the request to send the id card if not if you want to change the replace that photo with your uh, recent one then you can upload the new one but the thing is here are some instructions you need to keep in your mind while uploading photo so let's see what are the instructions our first instruction is the photograph must be in formal with white background the background should be white only and uh, the thing should be noted here is avoid the white cloths with white background so don't wear the white cloths while you are capturing the photo in white background so it it may dominate your uh, dress color the background may dominate your uh, dress color so it's better to wear a dark color cloths so while you are capturing the photo in white background and uh, the second instruction is the face and shoulders must be clearly visible while capturing the photo face and shoulders must be clearly visible in that photo and the third one is both the ears must be clearly visible while capturing the photo it means you should not take the photo in uh, uh, different views like side views and uh, other views it should be straight photo only it should be formal so both of your eyes uh, should be uh, clearly visible in that photo and the allowed files uh, file type is jpg or jpeg it means it will not accept a, a pdf format or png format any other formats it's just it just accept a jpg or jpeg and the maximum uh, file size should be 1 mb only it, it should not exceed 1 mb uh, it will be uh, below 1 mb only no problem in this but uh, you should maintain the uh, above four uh, instructions so if you meet all these instructions then uh, you can browse the photo and uh, click on upload after you click on upload uh, then uh, the workflow details will be visible there you can see that uh, it will be uh, pending for approval with your supervisor so uh, you can see here uh, they will mention your supervisor name and the employee id uh, you can wait for one day if if uh, still the supervisor uh, will not uh, Uh, approve your uh, photo for id card then uh, you can uh, ping him and uh, microsoft teams or uh, you can uh, write a mail to your supervisor to approve your uh, photo for id card they have also mentioned that uh, the photo uploaded by you needs to be approved by your supervisor please reach your supervisor uh, if the supervisor mentioned above is not correct please follow this if your supervisor mentioned there is not correct then uh, reach your current supervisor which you know then uh, get it approved so after getting the approval from supervisor uh, you will get to know about uh, your approval uh, from your workflow details uh, even if you are not able to see your workflow details also 
uh, if your photo is in a profile photo uh, section then uh, uh, you can see a publish uh, option below your photo like this if you see this option this means uh, your photo is approved by your supervisor then you can initiate the request for id card as i said uh, after getting the approval from su supervisor then uh, you need to initiate the request for id card but before that first you need to geocode your location in etms application it it is nothing but uh, uh, giving your location where you are staying uh, means uh, uh, geocoding your present location where you are staying where you want to uh, get it delivered so that it will be delivered to that location which you have geocoded in your etms application for that you can geocode your location from uh, etms application uh, which you can uh, download from ux apps otherwise you will have etms uh, service from ultimatics also you can do any way but you need to geocode your location after that go to material moment tracker you need to initiate the request in uh, material moment tracker uh, you can search mmt in uh, ultimatics otherwise you can follow the path the path is go to ultimatics and then finance and infrastructure in that physical infrastructure and in that inward outward material moment tracker when you click on inward outward moment material moment tracker then you will get this page here uh, you can see it is my request page in this uh, there is a request for tcs id card is raised uh, you can see uh, the status is like request initiated by id card means uh, in this case it is raised but in your case it will be in draft then uh, the draft should be uh, submitted it means you should initiate that uh, request so for that if you click on that uh, draft uh, you need to verify your mobile number and uh, give that uh, the uh, photo is uploaded by supervisor and uh, you have geocoded your location then after uh, the verification you can uh, initiate the request you can see under action there is workflow details if you click on that workflow details you can see the status of your id card request means uh, it is uh, uh, it will be pending for uh, some approvals so you can see who are approved who are yet to approve so you can uh, contact them to get it approved so after getting all the approvals uh, your id card will be uh, dispatched so by this the work from your side said to be done and uh, the thing is need to be done is uh, uh, it, it is to be approved from um, your supervisor and other candidates who are mentioned in your workflow details and um, uh, as i said in my uh, id card unpacking video it might take uh, in my case it took uh, 20 days to get my id card uh, some uh, in some cases uh, it will also take 30 days to get it uh, it uh, it is a long process uh, to get the approval from all the candidates and uh, uh, and it uh, printing process and dispatching everything uh, will take uh, some time so it might take uh, almost a month or one and a half month so you need to be uh, patient in this uh, so guys this is the process to follow to apply for the id card uh, hope this video useful for you if you feel the video helpful for you then please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more information